All right, so this is one of the fun times where we get to use a little bit of an example. It's kind of off the mark with regards to and use it for chemistry, okay? Remember, see, accuracy is the closest of the mean. Precision is the closeness of the data set to each other. So I'm going to use my dartboard here uh, as, a, as an example. And in a minute, I'm going to let you guys throw some darts, and you guys will love it because it's the only time you ever get a chance to you get to throw darts in my head. So you'll enjoy that. Some of you guys more than others. Okay? But let's uh, pretend for a minute that, you know, we're just throwing these darts in. What, so what's the best thing you can have? What's, what's considered an accurate on a dartboard? A bullseye. Does everybody just agree? The outside door. Okay. A bullseye is considered to be the most accurate you can be. So I step up, wham! Yeah! Bullseye. Right? I step up, wham! Bullseye. Step up for my third one. Wham! Bullseye. I'm just that good. I have three bullseyes. Obviously, the average would be a bullseye, right? So I would have a pretty good uh, mean. So would I be accurate by definition here? Yes. yes. Now, look at the darts themselves. Where are they with regards to each other? Are they close to each other? They are close. So, is this also precise? Yes. 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 Give me another example. Ready? So you're throwing darts again. Boom! I mean, I'm still in the zone. Oh, I got a 20. All right. That's good. It's good from a score standpoint, right? It's very good. I think it's actually the highest score, right? Isn't that yeah. a triple 20 up yeah, there? It's the highest All right. You can get. And then I get a triple three down here. Okay? Now, I will tell you, I've placed these in a line on purpose. So, the average of these darts would be a what? You took this one, this one, and this one. It took the average of where they are on the dartboard. Where would it be? In the bullseye. So my question to you, is it accurate? Yes. Believe it or not, it is accurate. Because accuracy requires you to find the mean. But, is it precise? No. Absolutely not. So there's an example of where we're accurate because of the mean and not being precise. So then we come on up here and we throw some more darts, okay? And we get one in the four, another in the four, and another outside there. Remember, we're aiming for a bullseye because that's what we're considering to be accurate, right? So right now, was this person accurate? Absolutely no. not. If a bullseye, okay, we took the mean of them, it would be in the four, but they'd be way over here. So they wouldn't be accurate. Now my question to you is this though. These three darts with each other, are they precise? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very precise. Okay. Let me show you how that can happen. Okay, let's say we we're doing this experiment and somebody, you know, did this experiment and they got uh, you know 127.0 grams. And I was only going to three six like wasn't I? So 127 grams, and 128 grams, and 127 grams again. Well, it was supposed to be 95. What might be wrong here? This person did three data points, and they all came back pretty close together. Anybody want to make a guess as to what could be occurring? Okay, when your variables is wrong, sure, maybe you set the experiment up wrong. Okay, what's another thing? What are we using to measure these things? Probably using some kind of technology, some kind of scale. Is it possible that the scale is broken? Or that something is happening to give you these really discrepant numbers from what it should be? I used to use the word discrepant not so pretty awesome. So, there you go. Okay, so that could be also the reason. Now, my last example is this, right? We can also have a situation where we throw darts like this, where one of them ends up in the 14, one of them ends up in the 5, 
and the other ends up here in the 18. Accurate? <coughs> Absolutely not. Precise. You know, we can make this more extreme. Precise. No. So, there are different possibilities. You can be accurate and precise. You can be accurate but not precise. You can be not accurate and be precise. And you can have it be neither one. Okay? What's our goal in all scientific measurements? What do you think is our goal like in an experiment? What do you think? What do we want? What do you think would be the ideal thing to have for accuracy and precision when we do an experiment? Yeah, 100 percent so we want to be accurate. And do we want to have lots of data points to verify it? Yes. So our goal should be to be 